because they're at competitors. They still are my athletes. Back to live play. It's the last game of day one. Fantastic day. We've got Runcorn Heights versus Holland Park. Runcorn Heights moving away from the camera in the red. And Holland Park in the blue. Both affiliate programs of the Touch Academy here at Runcorn High. Holland Park had just come on board this year, so it's great to have them on board. And Runcorn Heights have been with us for a couple of years. So here they go, long board of Marley. She will run and run and run. And she, she goes, releases, switch. Watch Grace go as well. She's lightning. Throw it back. That's Lani Ward on the wing. She's been great all game. And that's really good defence by the Holland Park girls. That's Adelaide. Has she got the speed? Great running. She's super strong and fast. And if it wasn't for Grace chasing her, she would have scored that. Grace is lightning quick. Did well. Great job to cover. Grace is another one of those that's uh, coming to the touch program next year. Young Nikki on the wing, doing a great job. Marley at link. Last touch. What have the Holland Park girls got? Looking to release back in an overlap on the short side. Unable to do that at that time. All right, can they react well here, Holland Park? They need a shoot get a turnover. Here go the Runcorn Heights girls, winding up, targeting the right channel. And they get it off the mark. Holland Park get a turnover. Wind picking up here. Change directions has gone southerly. Jackson Streeter, one of the Streeter boys, as they're known here at Runcorn Eye. The twins. Is that a try? All clear. There's a miss there. Let's look at the replay. She gets up and no, they just look at each other. Gets straight between the gap. Great try, Holland Park. They're first on the board. Runcorn Heights just sorting that out there, going, we'll fix that. Don't worry, girls. Up to halfway they go. Coaches Dakota Turner, Kalani Fellows, and Tiari. All students of Runcorn High. They're coaching the girls' side here today and tomorrow. They're doing a great job. There goes Marley. She's winding up the steam train, trying to get around them, unable to. Lily Richards is on. She's the captain of the girls' side and she does a great job as a leader. There's a great rugby league future ahead of her and he's a quality touch player too. Holland Park get a turnover. Coming off their line. That's a great drive. Half there straight away. So they've worked at out of training. Mr. Walker is their, their coach and their gymnastics coach as well and their touch football. Doing a great job with them. Working really hard to get that half there and have their hitter. Oh, unlucky. Last game of the day. The girls are getting tired. Biden Turner's on to referee, everyone. Nickname Billy or Billy Jean. What a great song that is. I won't sing it for you. Lily Richards makes that touch. They throw the long ball. Always beats the first defender, that young lady. I don't have her number on me. In, away, in, away. Adelaide in the corner. Lily Richards with a chase. Great run again by Adelaide. 
She probably should have scored too, but it wasn't for the run corn height's ability to chase and, and have the speed to be able to do so. She have been able to stop her. Keep those dad jokes coming in. Jada Phillips has given us one from her boyfriend, Nelson, has given us a joke through Jada. Thank you for that. Nelson, former captain of the Touch Academy. Jada, the current captain. Touch Academy, not just producing touch athletes, but uh, partners as well. Here's the joke. I lost my job at the bank on my first day. A woman asked me to check her balance, so I pushed her over. <laughs> Thanks, Nelson. We love you and miss you, mate. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Jada Phillips has got a dad joke. We'll get her on there in a minute. Back to live play. Holland Park attacking the line. Arafa making that touch in 49. She's improved every training session. A great group to train the Runcorn Heights girls and boys. She's holding her knee. Hope she's okay. Got Zoe early here, just taking a break from refereeing. She's never late. I don't know if I told that joke before today. If I have, apologies. She's always refereeing her Ava Farrell. Ava's always late. Billy Jean refereeing here, just checking they're all moving up. Nice work, Billy. He's got the odd socks on as part of our culture here. Odd socks for these events. Funky socks, sorry. Not odd socks, that's one of the teams. Funky socks. He's obviously got one pair missing from each one, so he's just put them together. Clean your bedroom, young man. Find the other ones. I like the look of number 15 for Holland Park. She looks agile. That's Charlotte Kim. She always beats the first player. She does that at, uh, at training too. You might have seen that on the camera. The Holland Park girls doing cartwheels to get on side. Famous uh, gymnastics school, seven gymnastics teams they've got. And it's showing in their touch here. They're looking agile and strong and, and moving well. That's Rachel. She's part of the Runcorn Touch Academy Futures program. She is elusive. She reminds me a lot of Billy Slater. That's Mia. She's a football finisher. Rugby league finisher on the wing out there. Watch her dive for the corners. One-handed doing flips. Arafa takes the ball forward. Early release to Lily Richards. She tries to get around them. Unable to last touch. <laughs> forward pass. Great refereeing. Signaling. That's Jackson Streeter. Many call him the younger Streeter. He could be the older, I'm not sure. He looks younger. He's got the youthful looks. He's actually older. Nick, Nicholas Streeter is right behind me. He's just corrected me. Apologies. He is older. He's just got the youthful looks. He moisturises his face better than Nick. Rachel gets around him, off she goes, off and running. Can't get around him. Jada's got her joke now. What do Tix and Paris, or oh, the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower have in common? They're both Paris sites. <laughs> <laughs> She got one laugh. It was herself. Holland Park driving through their middle. Adelaide on the ball. She's their weapon. She's a really good organiser. 
We've got Maya Creswell-Tino who wants to say a joke. Do I really? This is for her father, Robert. <laughs> Robert Tino, this is for you. Back to live play. Rachel and Grace saving a try, both, both part of the Touch Academy Futures program here at Runkle and I. Two on one, can they get around them? Unfortunately, they can't. Nikki with a great touch. Robert Tino. If you're not listening, someone text him. Tell him to pay attention. This is for you from Maya. Okay, thank you. What do you call a factory that makes okay products? A satisfactory. <laughs> that was actually half decent. That's pretty good. That's for you, Robert. Happy Father's Day. Maya Creswell Tino, she's also a superstar of the Touch Academy program, referees, and part of our musical this year. Did a great job singing Madonna songs. We might get it on to sing one shortly. She's giving me the thumbs up. So look forward to that to tomorrow, where Maya Creswell Tino will sing. What was the song, Maya? Material Girl. Thanks, Maya. That'll be a favourite tomorrow. Back to live action. Holland Park, you're here at the Tribal Sports Blues Cup 2021. Thanks to Tribal Sports for major sponsor. They've done the merch for us this year. The supporter jumpers and hoodies and shirts are everywhere. You would see them in the live coverage doing the rounds. They look great. There's Adelaide trying to get around him. There's Grace. She's been great today. Super strong. Really excited to have, to see how she goes next year. And Rachel is the other middle. Trying to get around the outside. Off the shoulder, then the elbow. Then she decides to catch it. She works in the circus. And young Dylan Jacobson. Great call, young Dylan. Not moving up. And gets the turnover. Holland Park Sport. Great call, they weren't moving up on the last touch. There's Adelaide and Rachel with a diving touch, putting the body on the line. Four run Corn Heights, they have a good culture. The parents are here, all supportive. Different parents bring different foods and drinks, so they've got their run Corn High Touch Academy students helping with their coaching. Run Corn Heights students managing, refereeing, coaching on the production, cleaning toilets, picking up rubbish, which is anything they can't do as well as being elite touch players. What a great long ball. That's 25 metres. Can she get around the outside? Lani Ward, great touch. She's got a wrist strap there already in the injury wards. There's Adelaide looking to draw a pass. Well done, Grace. Grace calm, cool and collected. Long ball. Is that a try? Yes, it is on the replay. Holland Park with their second one. Have a look at this long ball. Ball in two hands, get the wing in a bite. It just gets along the outside. It wasn't bad defence, just better attack. Rachel and Grace on the ball, trying to get it to Marley. Marley forgets to put her hands up. Feeling a bit tired, and we get a drop ball. Overlap down the left side. Lani Ward makes that touch. To see Charlotte Kim get the ball here in a bit of space for Holland Park. And that's Andrea for Holland Park there on the ball, getting the ball back. She's a high quality player herself, really good organiser. Looks up and sees what's in front of her, which is a difficult skill to master, to understand that. So, referee blows the whistle. That's Billy Jean, nickname. Thanks for uh, Bella Mahoney for coming up with that nickname. Holland Park, turning the screws, can I get another try? Here they go, going forward now, looking for space. Yeah, middle's not moving up there for Runcorn Heights. 
Second penalty on the line. Billy Jean just explaining that. Well, there's a whistle. That's the player you want on the ball and attack on the line. That's Charlotte Kim. She always beats the first player. But the second player was able to get her there. That's Hafsa here on the right link making that try saver and they get a turnover. Down to 10 minutes to go. Last game of day one. What a great day it's been. Here at Blues Cup. Here in the continuous call with Jazzy Buller. Alongside me is Kieran Padgett. On the camera now is Bella Mahoney. I've got Brianna Margetts looking after the camera and uh, lighting. We've got uh, Zoe never late early. And <laughs> she's giving me the look. Maya Cresswell Tino also helping out. We appreciate your support. They're also referees, by the way. Doing a great job here at Blues Cup 2021. Through the middle of the field, they get Lily Richards on. They want to try. She's the organiser. Beats the first. Jimmy Shake gets around the second. She turns the hips nicely to get her shoulders to be out of the way when they try to make a touch. Hufso releases. Last touch. Turnover. Just missing the touch count there. Holland Park on the ball. What have they got? Still close enough if good enough, Runcorn Knights. There's Charlotte Kim. It's the first time I've seen her touched by the first defender, but she's rucking off her line. On come the fresh players. That's Andrea. She's a workhorse in the middle there. Adelaide gets the release, beats the first, beats the second. Can she beat the third? She can't. That's Lily Richards on the saver. Great defence, Lily. She calls her team in after making that touch. Get in here, she says. It's defend around the ball. And that's good tactics, isn't it? You don't need to be wide. You need to be around the ball. Charlotte Kim, she's dangerous. Forward pass. Good call, Billy Jean. Hafsa to Lily. That's Pippa getting the ball here. Looking to get the ball the next hit. Now getting to half. Pepper gets the half. You've got Lani Ward on her right. Decides to throw it inside. That's Lily Richards. Getting to half there. Is Kalani. She's Ashland's sister, everyone. Ashland's part of the Touch Academy. That's Kalani. She'll be here in the Touch Academy next year. Working hard. Beautiful, bright blue boots. You can't miss her. There's Nakaya. Nikki again trying to get around him. Left foot stop, stutter step. Goes, gets around the outside. Gets around the outside again. Can she stay inside? That's a great run and a great touch. Champagne touch football, as they say. Take a video of that little passage and put it in, a, in your video book. Dad Jake's coming in thick and fast. Chatty, leave me alone, mate. I'm trying to be on the live stream. How many more jokes have you got? Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> that was all right. That's Chatty. Thanks, Chatty. That's your best one, mate. Happy Father's Day. Thanks for these grounds. They're immaculate. There's none better. Come down here, you don't get better anywhere. There's actually seven touch fields using six here. It's the same as BMTA. But they're green, they're marked, they're flat. He actually comes out here and cuts them with scissors just to make sure they're at the right length. Wind picking up, changing directions, now going easterly. Great joke there, Chatty. I actually laughed, mate. Going forward, here they go, looking for space. Good long ball. Gee, the power from the gymnastics. That ball was flying. Would have hit row six in the crowd if it didn't touch the hands. Lily Richards trying to get a try for her team. She says, Huffs, no get to half. Lily Ward, you go forward, please. And the shooting defence, that's 23 for Holland Park. Olivia. 38 shoots next. 36, sorry, that's Sophia. She's been doing really well at training with her shooting. She gets on side quickly and she works, works hard to get forward. You might have seen the top of Lily's back then. She tried to get under the camera but failed. Lily Ward, Lynn in and away, gets around them. 
He's got little, great little footwork, really agile. Pepe with a great drive, nice. Nice drive, Pep. The Pied Piper, they call her. She gets everyone following her. She does it then with a good drive. Got Corey Farrell behind me, year eight, captain, Runcorn Touch Academy. Corey, give us a wave. <laughs> hair counts, that's right. That's why my hair's short. Not because it's falling out. It's because I don't get touched on the field. I saw that, Bella. The Pied Piper and Lily Richards in the middle sorting stuff out. There's Grace at link. And there's Nikki on the wing. That's a far side. On gets referee Dylan Jacobson, young Dill. They call him Fresh Like Dill. That's his nickname. There's Grace. Don't give her space. Got you on the hair again. There's Marley. She winds up. Oh, I just got caught there. Maybe on the number, maybe on the hair. Back to the mark she strolls. Sorry, number th three there, that's Marley. She's been classy here for Runcorn Heights. Turnover. Come and see me in the morning, I'll give you one of these. Enjoy us. Thanks for your help, mate. Run Cornite's trying to create something. In, away, got to follow her. She always beats the first player as well. She's got spiders on her, Lily Richards. It's because of her hip and shoulder rotation. Good little tip for the youngsters out there. You turn your body sideways, you're harder to touch. Oztag players, you'll know that skill. See, that's young Charlotte Kim on the ball, releases the ball. There's ball down by Adelaide. Here's Run Corn Heights' chance. They're only down two. There's two, th two minutes 30 to go, though. They need to try soon. Unfortunately, they run behind their player. Great call. Fresh like Dill, referee. He's got it there. He's the youngest referee we have, I believe. It's him, Riley, and Ryan in the boys. Yeah, grade 7 students, you've got uh, Kendall and Lara in the girls. Doing a great job. They would have been playing in this last year. Now they're refereeing and running it. They really matured a lot through the Touch Academy program and doing a great job. Trying to create something on the left side. Well done, Nikki. That's Nakaya Jade Karakaya Foley. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Nikki for me. She's an agile little athlete. Here goes Rachel. She was great in her earlier game. Part of the Touch Academy program. We'll be coming to the trials on Monday. Turnover. Holland Park. Minute to go. Last game of day one. After this claim, I'll explain how day two works. So stay on, stay tuned to figure that out. In, away, stop, stutter. And Marley, great touch, young lady. She covers them. Holland Park just turning the screws. Highly professional performance. It's been a tight tussle, but you feel they've been in front and on top most of the game. There's Adelaide. Can she get around them? Gee, she's made a lot of girls miss without unable to score. She's having one of those days where she's beaten plenty but can't get the ball over the line. Oh, full of the sideline. She put the ball down first. Good con conference with the referees. That's Jackson Streeter, the older one that looks younger. And Kaiden Turner, also known as Billy Jean. He's not your lover.
Game over. Last game. Day one. Three nil. I've really enjoyed myself. I've got Brianna next to me. Have you enjoyed day one? Yes. She's full of many words, Brianna. Thanks for that. That's three nil to Holland Park. So from here, day two. First games may start at 75-7.55. We'll go uh, top 12, go through to the Blues Cup. That's the top two in each pool and the two best thirds. We'll post that on the Facebook page shortly once we figure that out. And that will also go uh, on the website. Uh, we'll also email that out to the coaches of all the teams. Once the, uh, the top 12 are sorted, we will rank them. If we can't separate teams, there will be drop-offs at the t start of stage two. So at 2.55, your team may need to be here for a drop-off. And uh, that will figure out rankings. Then the first game start at 8.30. And the top 12 will play in the cup. And the bottom eight will play in the shield. So you'll play like teams on day two. Which is great. All teams will get six games. A couple of teams will get seven games over the two days. So it's great for us to give those many games to you. Uh, if you're at all schools and you first lose your first three, you're going home. But here, you'll still get to go here for day two and play like teams. So that's one of the hallmarks of the Blues Cup. We look forward to having you back here tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed Tay One live stream coverage of the Tribal Sports Blues Cup. 2021.